Alright, hey there YouTube. Uh, this video is for 11ready22. He suggested that I make a tutorial on how to make, uh, on how you do side scrolling in Visual Basic. Um, I'm not going to make it too fancy or anything because that's going to come with you making your game yourself. Uh, and I just simply don't have the time right now, but I want to get it out there so you can uh, have it as fast as possible. Um, so we're going to hit new project right now. Um, name it, I don't know, whatever you want. Side scroller. <clears throat> uh, Alright, sorry for this long load time. Alright, so when you start, make your form. Uh, we want it relatively small. Um, you can have it big, but for this tutorial, we're just going to keep it small. It's a little easier to work with. So, uh, first thing you want to do is obviously make a picture box. That's going to be your main character. That's what you uh, need to do in almost any game. Make a character. So, we will name him Pick Player. Set his back color so we can see him. Um, and then also click your form and there should be a property called auto scroll we want to turn that to true uh, so it hasn't done anything yet so now so for us to see what happened copy your picture box and paste it make a new one uh, resize this too small doesn't matter and under its location right here uh, its x coordinate set it to 3000 that's gonna throw it way off the screen to the right and as you see uh, as I'm, I'm gonna click you'll see that uh, it becomes invisible. Well, not, not really invisible, it's just off the screen. And Visual Basic has created this nice little scroll bar right here. So what auto scroll does is if there's any controls off your immediate screen, you can scroll to them, similar to a website. Um, hold on, let me just resize this just a slightly. Okay. So now that we have that, so what you're going to use auto scroll is, this is how you're going to edit your map. This is how you're going to place everything to where you want it. Um, so I'll show you an example. We're going to copy that picture box, your character, one more time. Come to like the middle and make a few obstacles. These will be your, uh, our test obstacles. And we'll set them on the screen appropriately. Um, let's rename them to pick one. Just, you'll, you should probably name these a little, uh, with more detail. But, uh, like I said, I don't have that much time. Uh, sorry if you hear my dogs in the background. Uh, pick three. So now we have pick one, two, and three. So let me recolor these to red just so it's a little easier to see when we're testing it. All right. So now we have three obstacles. Um, move your auto scroll all the way back and then what we're going to do is we need to make two timers. These are going to be what control our player movement. Uh, rename them to TMR right. Oops, excuse my typing. And we also need, obviously, TMR left. Um, change both those intervals to 10. I just feel like those work the best for movement. So click your form. We're going to start getting into coding. Um, this should open up our code view. See, this is how it. my computer is a lot faster than this. It's just because my uh, webcam program is taking so long. But I'm going to make this font a little bigger so you can see. Alright, so under your form load, say me.autoscroll is equal to false. So, uh, what that's going to do, it's going to turn off the auto scroll. So you can no longer... Uh, here, let me comment that out real quick so I can show you during runtime what that would do. So we open up our program. And now you can scroll through the map. You, you don't want to do that because that's not how uh, side-scrolling games work. Uncomment this code, and now you won't be able to do that anymore. But our objects are still off to the right over here. So now we need to uh, get form one key up and key down events. Uh, those will control our player movement. If my computer would stop being so slow. Key down, and we'll also need a key up. 
So select case e dot key code. Select cases are sort of like if statements, except I think a little more organized. So case will need a right, and we'll also need a left. So under your right uh, key, obviously, enable your right timer. Um, also under there, I like to disable the left timer because uh, that just ensures that both timers won't be running at the same time, causing your player not to move anywhere. Um, same deal with your left timer. Just enable the left, disable the right. Uh, false. And I forgot to copy and paste this, but we'll just go. We'll also need select key, uh, select case e dot key code underneath your key up. Same. We'll also need a right and a left. This is a little more simple. Just disable your right timer because uh, you know in most games when you let off the key, you won't keep moving. Um, and you don't have to have this in your game. I'm um, just this how I'm deciding to show you how to do it. So we have our movement uh, pretty much down right now. We just need to add the actual code into the um, timers to make it move. Now this is where uh, it changes from moving your character to moving the map. Uh, so it appears to be side scrolling. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to make an array. Um, if you don't know what an array is, it's basically just a variable that can store multiple values. So say dim objects, and then put uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, that lets Visual Basic know that it's an array, as picture box, and equal to put brackets, and then, so our three things were pick one, pick two, and pick three. Uh, close that bracket. So now we've created this array called objects, and it has three instances, pick one, two, and three. Um, so now what we're going to do, we need to make a for and x loop that will cycle through that array. So say for x, uh, it can be any you know variable name, it doesn't matter, equals 0 to objects, our array, dot length, how, long, how many things it has, so you don't have to keep changing this number every time you add uh, objects to your form, minus 1. Because uh, that's just how you have to do it, because... Um, in arrays in Visual Basic, objects 0 is actually the first one. It doesn't start with objects 1, so you have to say minus 1. So now what we're going to do is objects x dot left. So we're taking the picture box that we're referring to because x has multiple values uh, in this for and x loop, and it's going to check every one of those. So objects x dot left. Uh, and then we're just going to make a simple counter like you would moving your stuff. And since we're moving, since our character's moving right, we need our map to move left. So we're going to say minus equals three. That's going to be our counter. Um, and we're also just going to, it's going to be similar code for the left. So copy and paste that, except instead of minus equals three, it's going to be plus because, you know, maps moving in a different direction. Um, so. We have that so far. Let me run it and uh, see, make sure that works. So I'm pre all I'm doing right now is pressing the right key, and as you can see, our objects started coming to us. We actually didn't move in the middle of the screen. Our objects came to us, but you can see how this would create a side-scrolling effect. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to do jumping. I already said I'm not going to get too creative. Uh, but so you can see how how that works. It's it's uh, basically just an illusion. Um, and that's about it. The only thing, um, if you like if you're not uh, comfortable with arrays, uh, if you want to add more to your array or more obstacles to your map, just make them uh, on the screen, rename them, uh, pick, I think we're on four, and pick, I think the next one is one, two, three, four, five. that makes sense. So now we have five objects, and all you're going to do is come into your array and add them. So that's going to tell Visual Basic that uh, there's more obs or at least in your code, that there's more obstacles on the screen that need to follow uh, this line of code. Um, so just add those to that array, and then those picture boxes should act the way the others do. So I'm just holding the right uh, key, um, and you can see how all five of them now are... Uh, moving across the screen.
So that is essentially how you create a side-scrolling effect in Visual Basic 2010. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to answer any questions, and if there's anything that I didn't cover, um, just give me a message, and maybe if you need another tutorial, I'd be happy to make one. But um, thanks for watching, and thank uh, 11Ready22 for uh, suggesting this.